Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching. All you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king, and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC and blockchain company, Ripple, are wrapping up their legal battle as both sides make their closing arguments. During the hearing, Ripple scored some tiny triumphs when the judge ruled in its favor on a few particular points. Interestingly, some legal experts claim that Ripple has a decent chance of winning the case based on the favorable verdict. Prior to the decision, us attorney Jeremy Hogan in particular projected potential outcomes stating that both parties would probably prevail. He made this comment in a YouTube video that was uploaded in December. Hogan highlighted that Ripple may succeed in his first prediction if the summary rulings show that XRP is not being sold as a security. He stated that the lack of a legal obligation on the part of Ripple to XRP customers is the foundation for the prediction for the prediction. Apparently, Hogan, first and foremost, because it has no contractual obligations to XRP buyers, I believe Ripple will prevail. There is no ongoing commitment following the sale. In other words, if there is no investment, there can be no contract. In his second forecast, Hogan stated that although the public believes that Ripple would prevail in the litigation, the firm is quite likely to lose. He stated that there is a chance of Ripple loss of about 30. He said that if the SEC's evidence shows that Ripple used XRP sales to increase its market share in cryptocurrency exchanges and international payments, the judge might decide in the SEC's favor. The SEC has only presented all the statements, emails, and YouTube videos from various Ripple workers discussing the price of XRP in earlier filings. They've worked for eight years, after all. All of these claims will be examined by Judge Terrell. All of these claims will be examined by Judge Terrell, who will side with the... Furthermore, Hogan emphasized that Ripple can weather any financial storm that may result if it loses the sale. Hogan suggested that the dispute might come to an end, pointing out that there is a 19.1 probability that the judge won't rule in either party's favor. Judge Torres concedes and declares that the initial XRP sale is a title sale, but after that, those transactions cease to be titled sales. Hogan noted that the chance of this happening is slim, given the case's implications for the cryptocurrency market. According to him, the court must render a fair decision based on the information provided by both sides. The attorney's final forecast stated that there is always a chance that the court may issue a surprising decision, noting that this occurs frequently in legal proceedings. The fourth possibility would be something that no one would take into account, which can happen in legal proceedings. In conclusion, the regulatory filing's official forecast indicates that there is a 50.12 chance that Ripple will win and a 29.80 chance that the SEC will. Hogan, indeed, those who are interested in the cryptocurrency market are keenly monitoring the effect of the lawsuit's decision on the price of Ripple's native coin, XRP. It should be noted that any time a court has ruled in favor of the blockchain company in the past, XRP has shown a slight profit. A judge's decision to permit the filing of records pertaining to former SEC Division Director William Hinman was one of the ripples in the wind. The documents concern Hyman's remarks that Ethereum ETH is not a security in his lecture. As a result of the court's acceptance of documents in favor from XRP, using businesses and organizations, Ripple has since recovered. Furthermore, as stated by Finn Bold, Ripple disregards the legal concerns since investors believe in the business. 
The company has a $15 billion value, making it the only cryptocurrency company among the top 10 startups in the United States and the 10th largest startup overall. In the most recent proceedings, the SAC and Ripple each filed their final briefs with the court in an effort to have the case decided in their favor. They pleaded with District Judge Annalisa Dora not to hold a trial because Ripple CEO Brad Garlinhouse and his general counsel Stuart Alderan are fighting the SEC uphill. Meanwhile, he has already praised the efforts of Ripple CEO in a tweet and believes that the two-year trial period is about to come to a conclusion. He also views the occurrence as one of the most important tests for the cryptocurrency sector. He praised his crew as well, stating he couldn't have asked for more. The case is getting closer to a decision that might alter how digital assets are seen in relation to us securities regulations thanks to the final summaries of both sides. Those who support the court's decision will probably decide how to classify digital assets, whether they are securities derivatives or something else. If the SEC prevails, for instance, XRP will be categorized as a security, this precedent might apply to other initiatives of a similar nature. A federal court is presiding over numerous petitions in the SAC and Ripple lawsuits, but the XRP lawsuit may put a stop to the discussion over regulating the cryptocurrency market. Last month, Ripple's attorney Stuart Alder Adi accused the SAC of being at fault for Block 5's bankruptcy, claiming that Ripple is fighting to shield the cryptocurrency industry from heavy SEC scrutiny. The lawyer said that Block 5's insolvency was caused in part by the penalties the SAC levied on it. He referred to the company's insolvency as an example of the SEC regulation's effectiveness. Legal experts claim that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, may have put itself in danger. As a result, a protracted legal struggle between the SAC and us blockchain firm, Ripple, may finish with the latter winning, according to Forbes. Several legal professionals stated that the agency had not proven its case. The incident affected thousands of retail XRP holders, which may have been a major contributing factor to its downfall. The judge permitted them to submit an amicus brief even though they were not authorized to name defendants to Ripple. There are increasing indications that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, will lose by an overwhelming margin before the House of Representatives as the crypto case of the century comes to a close in Manhattan Federal Court. The SEC's ability to control cryptocurrencies in the U.S. may be severely hampered by this decision. If things turn out like this, it will be a self-inflicted tragedy. First, in December 2020, the SEC launched legal action against Ripple and its two main executives. Republicans and two Democratic commissioners voted on the last day chairman, Jay Clayton, was in office to claim that the XRP cryptocurrency is an unregistered securities because it has only been in circulation since 2013. One business utilizes it for their invoicing software as an investment contract. The scope of the claims is significant, but the case's legal foundation has gone too far. Nearly two years later, Ripple decides to react, along with thousands of retail XRP users who have no link to Ripple, and the SEC is faced with a significant financial burden. In the litigation, the SEC quickly realized they were entangled in a maze of ripples. The SEC's strange claim that XRP has been an unregistered investment in Ripple since 2013 has been refuted by the Stellar Defense Team, who also cite to the market's billions of XRP token sales. The SEC has consistently informed market participants if XRP is a security. However, the SEC has now claimed that Ripple and everyone else in the market should be aware of this. Ripple 
should take a moment to demonstrate this. Additionally, Ripple concentrated on CFO William Hyman's passionate keynote address for the 2018 market in which he discussed how XRP is the primary rival in the money market because its ledger has been decentralized over time. Ethereum, a cryptocurrency based on silver ether, is not a security. This talk's underlying internal SEC communications and drafts served as the foundation for Ripple's. In response, the SEC struggled for 18 months to distribute them using six different backup orders, and it became increasingly clear that there was misunderstanding surrounding the token behind the scenes if it were to become publicly traded. According to the SEC, XRP is a security in the broad sense of the word. A security is a tradable financial instrument that represents ownership by a company or other comparable organization without having any actual use. Common shares, for instance, are financial instruments of publicly traded for profit businesses. The CEO and co-defendant for Ripple, Brad Garlinhouse stated that the SEC wants you to believe that they care about disclosure transparency and clarity. Ripple has now gotten materials from Hyman's lecture last month. Don't trust them. When the truth is ultimately disclosed, you'll be shocked by the humiliation of their behavior here.